Hi there and welcome to Solving with AWS Solutions, your deep dive into architectures built by AWS that are ready to deploy instantly in the cloud. I'm your host, Allison, and I'm joined here by Matt today, and we are going to explore the AWS Content Analysis Solution. So the AWS Content Analysis Solution is a way to use machine learning to gain greater insights into your video files to make it searchable and really be able to monetize it downstream. That sounds great. Well, let's dive in. Matt, we're here to talk about AWS content analysis. This one's really interesting to me. Let's say that I'm the owner of a video library that I need to do more with. I need to find clips of certain activities so that I can create collections or even create collections of certain assets. But the metadata that I have today is insufficient for that. How can this solution help me? I'm so happy you said the word metadata. That's really going to be the key to success across your uh, video and media workflows. And that's what the solution really dives into, the enhancement of metadata using machine learning services. All right, well, tell me more. Where can I find the solution? So the solution is directly on our solutions page. So if you go to our AWS content analysis page, you'll see there's a general introduction about what the solution is, as well as implementation guide and a link to the source code so you can modify it and make it your own. OK, so I'm really curious to learn more about the elements here of the solution. Can you show me the architecture? Yeah, let's go ahead and bring the architecture up. So there's a lot on this screen. So let's go ahead and break it down uh, into a logical workflow. So you have your video asset. You're going to upload it into the content analysis uh, system. So once it's there, we're going to start triggering a workflow or a job. And that job is going to interlink with our variety of machine learning services. And that's everything from Amazon Transcribe, Amazon Translate, Amazon Comprehend, and many more. And then what happens from there? Where does it go after I've done run some of these services? So after you're done running through these services, you're going to get metadata extracted, and it's going to be able to present to you in a more logical way. But I think it'd be great to be able to show you the solution in action. OK, yeah, I'd love to understand more about the insights that I could gain from, say, some of these services. Great. So I've logged into the solution. This is your landing page. We're going to have all your video assets that you've uploaded. So let's go ahead and click on one of the first videos I uploaded. So we're going to go ahead and click Analyze, and it's going to start playing back the proxy of that video we uploaded. And that's really important because when we're starting to use machine learning frameworks, we want to use a compressed proxy so we don't get false positives. OK. Oh, and I see that you have our friends here, Ryan and Tom. Hi, guys. Uh, what if I don't want to run all of these uh, artificial intelligence or machine learning services? Do I have optionality? You do have optionality. As part of the upload workflow, you can actually choose what services you do and do not want to operate. So we can go ahead and show that upload framework right here. So what you'll end up doing is adding an asset, whatever video file you have, and then clicking Configure Workflow. Within Configuring Workflow, you have the option to simply say, I want object detection, or I don't. And if you don't, simply uncheck it. I love that. OK, so how would I take a solution like this and work it into my current supply chain? I have a lot of moving parts. Tell me how I would integrate this. So I think it's really important to understand your metadata that you're generating. So if we go back to our first video, we're going to see that there's a lot of metadata that we, we created as part of running all of the frameworks. And within there, we can see things like laptop. And if I click on laptop, I can also see where in the scene it is. But where this gets really interesting and goes directly into your question is you can simply download the data. You can download it directly from here or access it via API. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. Well, I can tell you, I already see some immediate applications for better search, discovery, and even monetization of my video library. Thank you so much, Matt, for showing me the AWS Content Analysis Solution today. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks, everyone, for joining us on this edition of Solving with AWS Solutions. Be sure to check out this solution and many more on the AWS Solutions website. We hope we'll see you again soon.